This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. How are you? It is, uh, what is it? Friday already. Gosh, it's Friday already. And uh, just looky, looky, looky who's over here. There she is, ladies and gentlemen, your late night lady, Marjorie. Yeah, the one and only. Let me turn on your mic here. That would help. That would help. That would help. If we did that. Wait, Uh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Some pre-show things. Oh, really? The lights. What? What? The lights. The the on, The on, on air. Let me see here. I have to get the button. There we go. There we go. Isn't that yeah, nice? Thing? Yeah. Alex. <laughs> no anyway. on air. Oh, no the, Miller. No Miller. <laughs> no on air. No Miller. Right. Well, yeah. we had to give up our little cat this week. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll was, talk about that in a second. Okay. Uh, 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 let me see here. Uh, uh, you know what I got to do? I gotta, well, I'll change my, my, my camera later. Am see, I on? I, I, uh, Can they here, see I'm me? I'm going to pull this out. I like this out. I do too. I don't know why you tuck them well, in. But I tuck it in because I can now. I know, but it looks better out. <laughs> no, but I can tuck it in. <laughs> That's true too. Because I don't have a, much of a roll at all anymore. You know, all I have is flab. Well, you can tighten that. Well, no, you can't tighten it. You know, I went, look. I don't want to hear about the thousand sit-ups you did, I when, did. when you were 25, Alex, no, or 40. No, I was 50. And I did, I did uh, a thousand sit-ups. Every day with this trainer because I, was, I we got a trainer because I had this TV show we were doing and so I figured I wanted to train for it and I, I, it didn't make me look any better and I did not tighten up because anything. you didn't do core sit ups did not do core I did I did sit ups I did pull ups has nothing to do with your core I did pull ups and then this thing would we where you bring your legs up like that. The reason why I was able to go back in the gym two weeks after I had spinal surgery was oh, because my my, my core was good. Was, that was, she was, that's yeah, right. She was good to the core, but bad to the Navy. Thank you very much, <laughs> folks. I'll be here all night. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But yeah. it's true. Yeah. Now let's talk about our little I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. So she, uh, they well, came. Let's, let's tell everybody the story from the very beginning. Are, since you're what the storyteller. Well, you know what I have to do here is I want to look and make sure we're on okay. Uh, uh, is that we, um, hold on. Uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, are. yeah, okay. Uh, we, uh, couple, we, we met these friends out at Fire Island, uh, these people, and uh, one, of, one of which is a very kind of interesting guy, really yeah. terribly interesting guy. So is she. Guy. Huh? So is she. Oh, so is she. Yeah, but Very his bright. history is yeah, amazing. Yeah. Anyway, he, concentration camp. Then he became a, a director with the Actors Studio, studio and, and he gave James plays, Dean his first part. And, you know, and Marilyn and he were pals, and yeah. he he knew the Bertolt Brecht family. And he was married to. And, and he was married to Carol Baker. <laughs> so anyway, so I found him interesting. But then we found Natalia, his uh, what, what we could we call her, his girlfriend. His girlfriend. Yeah. His living girlfriend. His living girlfriend. Uh, to be equally as interesting and charming, and uh, and uh, she then started telling us, yeah, we have to go to Germany for ten days because he's he's shooting a, a film over there. They're doing a documentary on him about, and they want him to go to the concentration camps, and uh, so uh, and and the person who's supposed to take care of the cat, you can't do it. When I got to find somebody to take care of this cat, and then you said, well, I, the I, next I, day I said to her, you know. I get out at work at three. Yeah, I could easily come up the west side and feed the cat. Yeah. I couldn't do it in the morning, but I could do the afternoon right. feeding. And, and then I, you thought, came home. She thought that was great. No, this was all yeah. planned when we were up there. Yeah, and then you said to me, you know, we would, I'll go and take care with go, go and take care of the cat. And I said, well, why not just bring the cat to us, and then it will have somebody all the time and. Which, which are, people to hang out with and and coming from a small space where they are it's like going to summer camp for this cat now, now i love rob you know alfano but he said that was a bad idea and it turns out rob was really wrong at least yeah. where this cat because, was concerned because if she had two people come to feed the cat one in the daytime and let's say me in the afternoon that's all the cat would get 
This cat had 24 seven Alex and Marjorie and a huge apartment to rump and room. And, and, yeah, and, yeah, and constant belly rubs. Oh my God, it was like yeah, summer li- camp, it, it, summer it, it, camp. For she was lying camp. on her back all the time going, come on, give me the goods. Do it, do it. And we fell in love with her, absolutely we, it, it, fell she, in love and with she her. Was a, she was a perfect cat, I have Bright, to say. bright as Just can be. Just really bright, really smart. Uh, yeah. Uh, tell her how smart. Okay. She had two things. One was a laser light. She loves the laser light. She loves light. it. I mean, you just she gets her exercise and with the you, laser light. And when you light. pick it up, she knows you've picked it up. Yeah. And it's yeah, like so throwing, it, throwing it like you throw a dog a bone or whatever. And the other one was this tall little bottle of yummies. Um, there wasn't re- the regular cat food. There were just yummies, and she loved it. So if you picked up the the thing she loved it we found one morning we come in one morning we come in and they were up on the counter yeah they're up on the counter with her cat food and everything else i see these two items on the floor and i thought well maybe you dropped them or whatever and i took a picture and i sent it to you yeah and it's funny because you know i said to you the night before I'd come in, I had seen that, and I figured I would leave it that way so you could see it in the morning. And I thought she did it, so I took a picture and she sent it to you. She knocked these things off the counter saying, come on, I want to play with these and things. And I took a picture and sent it to them in Europe, and she said she does that all the time at their house. I mean, the cat was bright. Very bright. Very, Very bright. bright. I have a closed door here, and she, I, all of a sudden I hear pounding, 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 and the door opens. And here comes the cat. Yeah. You know. We just I mean, fell in love with her. But just very that. smart, very precociously smart, and calculating, too. I mean, yeah. She, I mean, towards the end, she was sleeping on the bed. She was she was running the whole place. Yeah. You know. And what she loved about it, I think, is that she had so many places to discover. To explore. And and, and, yeah. and it was a big apartment. They're in a small apartment. Yeah. So it was it was like going out to the country. And it wasn't until about five days in, I let her come into the office. And when she came in here, this was a whole new world. You yeah, know? yeah. And she rubbed against everything. And then she walked all the way from that table there, all the way over here. Then she would go through the back. Oh, she went through the back? Through the back, yeah. And um, She was great. You know, and we just fell, fell in, love. in love with her. And I didn't count on this uh, because... I figured out oh, the cat will come, I'll have a nice time, I'll have a cat here, blah, 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 and the cat will go. I didn't plan that we would become so emotionally attached within yeah. 10 days. To she the even let the cat stay an extra day because <laughs> they had just gotten back from Europe. Yeah, yeah, and we were thrilled with that. <laughs> we have an know. extra day. Hey, we'll take you know, whenever you And it was funny when, you know, because she had dropped the cat off, and for the first hour, the cat sat in the, in the, in the, in the, in the what do you call it, the little, the little box? Yeah, the, the carrier. Carrier. And wouldn't come out but finally the cat came out and and everything was great so she comes up yeah. to pick up the cat the cat wasn't angry at her i thought for sure no the cat i didn't know what the reaction would be i thought the cat would be angry I, because I you left me the, yeah well the cat i thought there would be one of two maybe the cat wouldn't immediately recognize to them, hiss. you know wouldn't recognize them because every time we had somebody come into this apartment during that not 10 day period she would go run under the bed except for the cleaning you know so she could have heard somebody coming in and go run to the bed but she immediately walked towards the door and she sat knew, there she knew it was she them. knew she, she could knew smell it, it. yeah sure. yeah and uh, but she then when it was time for her to leave she wouldn't go into the carrier she, yeah her, she her, wanna, her legs went out and she didn't want to go you know she was acting like peppy Le Pew's girlfriend yeah you know. it was funny but so we're gonna um, we were invited over their house for dinner, yeah, and to see the cat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I just feel so sad. I mean, I mean, and and I actually, the thing that happens is, I stay here all day. I don't go out much, right? And this cat kind of became another heartbeat. Uh, yeah. So it was company for me and me too. And so every now and then, even since the cat is gone, I will out of the side of my eye think I saw the cat. I do too. You know. And in fact, coming up in the elevator tonight, it was like, oh, she's going to greet me at the door. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a wonderful, wonderful animal. And if you want to see the best picture of her, go to the Facebook page. If you're at it now, go down just a little bit because I've cleared away a lot of the stuff there. And you will see, uh, you will see a, a, a picture of her looking out the window. Everybody can tell I'm wearing shorts tonight. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. There we go. Look at those legs. Yeah. I'm wearing shorts tonight. Anyway, uh, and and she um, uh, looking out the window, and it was really a terrific. Uh, yeah. Uh, thing. So. I mean, it was fun, and and it got us talking. We're just in the talking stage. Perhaps we might consider a cat. 
Yeah, but there's a problem with that. Well, and yeah. the problem is, I work. We then well, and also well, well, also we would have the same problem. We would have the same problem that uh, uh, they have. They if we, have. If we go, away. and that is, if we go away on vacation, who's going to feed? Who's going to feed the cat? I'm trying to get this right here. There we go. There we go. Um, who 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 would feed the cat? And you know. Uh, it's a good question. So I, you know, that and we'd have to put screens up during the summer. And, we're just talking about it. That's you all. know, we're just talking in about the talking it. But stage. we, we really, we really enjoyed having a cat here. And then there's no guarantee that the cat or cats, because we've talked about getting two, that the cats we get will be as lovable and as wonderful and well, as you know. Course. Because this it's, cat, it's, it's like having children. Everyone is hey, different. This cat could been have been dumb. Could have been just standoffish could have just been hidden all, for 10 days you know, and not as and a pretty cat she's yeah. a pretty cat yeah and not been as pretty and uh, i don't think we'd be as attached to her but she really won us over this particular cat so i'm thinking of a way that we can maybe get some money together you and i i know you have a home equity loan things like that and we can pay them to take a world trip <laughs> you know and and, and uh, we'll take care of the cat while right, you're right, going right, on right. on your three month Vacation. vacation. <laughs> you know, but anyway. Anyway, she was, she was great. And and the cherry on the top, we didn't argue once. We had a, maybe a couple little things. Yeah, we didn't, we, didn't we didn't argue. argue. We didn't argue. We didn't argue. Uh, and and, and we we're a little less arguing now that the cat's left. I mean, yeah. but the cat became a really nice focus and, yeah. and, and was uh, was incredible. And then I felt like well, here we are, two old people, and I am snapping pictures every two minutes. Yeah. And I said, <laughs> we, we don't have kids. You know, this is our life. We're two old people taking pictures of this well, honey I, bunny. Well, I, I still, my favorite picture is the one I took. Yeah. The, uh, it, and you can see it on this well, Facebook the one page that of, the I cat, of, of her looking out the window. It says everything about well, the Well, how cat. about the one that I took on the table with the table set with people coming for lunch and she's sitting on the table and I'm saying she decided to join us for lunch today. Yeah. That picture yeah. Was good. She's, uh, I took she, some good pictures. Great cat. Great yeah. cat. So, anyway. Uh, enough. We're talking about a cat like, you know, you met us at a party and we're going to tell you about our kids. You know? Well, that's what two old people do. They talk about their cats. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. We don't have kids. Um, my ex-wife, Ronnie, uh, has Ollie. Ollie's 14 now. And I used to take care of Ollie. And Ollie was a uh, serval. Uh, now, you know what that is? It's part, it's part jungle cat. And I can't remember which jungle cat now. And part American breed. And, they, and, and so it kind of looks like a wild animal. And they're huge. I mean, this cat then was this big. Okay, and I'm not including the tail. When did you okay. take care of this cat? Uh, uh, I have pictures of it in my old apartment. She left them off a couple of times when she was moving to Portland and she needed to go up there and do stuff. I don't remember. And so Ollie would there. stay with me. And Ollie, Ollie, on the other hand, was not warm and fuzzy. I don't remember a cat there. No, at all. You, you, no, I don't think you were around. Of I, course, I was around. No, I don't think. You want to bet? Well, wait a minute. Hold 2004. on. Two thousand four. Hold on a second. I'm going to have to go back and look when the pictures were taken because I, I don't think we were dating or if we were dating, we were, it was more casual than in the beginning when I took care of this cat. But anyway, and you know, when Ollie left, it was goodbye, Ollie. You know, <laughs> See you around. As I say, Ollie gave me the finger and said goodbye. And that was it, you know. Uh, I mean, I was amazed by the beauty of the cat, but you know, I wasn't uh, overwhelmed by the, the cat. Well, I know you 13 you know, years. Really? Yeah. Well, then I know you 13 years. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, see how thoughtful I am? I can remember that. We have an anniversary coming up. Now, this. let me explain these anniversaries, folks. Hey. Because, wait a minute, these, hold on a second. These anniversaries are the most bogus piece of shit. I think they were invented by Donald Trump. They're so bogus. You know, okay, tell, tell them, tell them what. I'm uh, not telling. No, tell them. It's just tell, an anniversary tell when what we an, met. Tell them what anniversary when it met, is. When huh? we met, when we met, I'm not telling them but, now. But when we met, no, how do we meet? I'm not how do we meet? Go ahead, I'm tell not, them, I'm tell not, them. Not, <laughs> tell them. I was paid not to say anything. <laughs> so if you want to talk. No, uh, it, it is the modern way in which people meet each other. Yeah, we now. didn't meet at a bar. No. We met at. An online dating service. Which one? J-Date. J-Date. 
Oh God! Now we have to pay them money, don't we? Yeah. We signed a thing that we would never reveal that the to the American public. Confidentiality, right? That confidentiality we would confidentiality <laughs> agreement that we wouldn't say that we met on J Day. That's right. Uh, now they put us down as one of those statistics. See, they got married. You know, there's a lot of people that have met on on well. On I mean, it, dating it, it, services. it is the modern way to meet people. Uh, Adrian met her boyfriend on yeah, the dating yeah, no, service. No, I you know when I first came back to New York. I felt very ashamed by going online and joining these dating things, but it was the only way I was going to meet anybody because I don't hang out in bars. No, I don't. You know, and I don't, you know. And what's nice about the dating service, you can be in your underwear. Yeah. You, you could just say delete. I mean, yeah. you know, you can it's very easy. You, you can also post a picture that isn't you yeah, or doesn't uh, look uh, like well, you. This is like what I found one. out. Men lie about their age and they lie about how much money they make. Women lie about their age, and they lie about what they look like. Well, uh, the picture you had, if I showed it to this audience, I said, it looks nothing like her. It was you. I think you were wearing a helmet, were It was you? a biking. It was a biking. I was on a bicycle. Yeah, and I said, I don't, what? What is that? You know. And uh, then I met you, and I thought you were reasonably attractive. Well, I became your your film whore. Yeah, we went to movies together. Yeah, and uh, for about three months, we were just friends. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I remember sitting in uh, what what was that place we ate the first time? Uh, oh, Noho Star. Noho Star. I remember uh, Noho Star. Oh no, you know, I think the first time was we went to that Silver Spur. Didn't no, we? that no, was later. No, Noho Star. Yeah. And I remember talking to you and going, yeah, you know, she's interesting to talk to. I don't know if this is going to become anything. Right. You know, yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect it would become anything. And then we went out on the second date. And on that second date, we went to the Silver Spur afterwards. And saw Adrian and, and Steve. And saw Adrian and Steve. And they thought, oh, Alex is dating now. You know, <laughs> oh, this is my friend. And so I figured at that point, since I introduced them to my best friends, uh, I guess I may as well uh, start dating her. So. You didn't kiss me until you walked me to the subway. Do you remember? What, we'd what, ate. Which time? We'd eaten at that great little Italian restaurant. And by the way, that was the last time I've kissed her. That's so true, like 14 years ago. Yeah. Um, we went to that Italian restaurant that we love that's no longer there, and you walked me to the subway, and that's when you kissed me the first time. That was like three months no, after. I, did, I thought I kissed you uh, in front of the, uh, the novelty store. Might have been on the cheek or something, but I, I the first I, good kiss was I, I when, I, I when, no, the first good kiss was when well, you Well, I'll defer to you because women remember this, <laughs> and that's another one of the lunches we're going to have, dinners we're going to have to have, the first kiss dinner, no. and then there's the first fuck dinner, no. uh, and then there's the first, uh, uh, you have more days, I mean, I looked I at the cal my days. calendar, and it said, uh, you know, their, um, their uh, anniversary you know, and uh, uh, you know it's Alex and Marjorie's anniversary, and I'm going. No, our anniversary is in this uh, was September. What did you tell? In the, when we gave our depositions, I asked Alex. Um, no, it's in March. He said, "How long? You, when did you get married?" And he couldn't remember. He said, "The summer." <laughs> yeah, no, we got married in March. March, March 27th. March 27th. Of course, I remember yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. No, uh, uh, why don't I remember? I guess I just don't care. Yeah. You know? Men don't. Yeah. Uh, but, but I'll remind you enough. And also, we've had some uh, some guests here at the apartment building. Mozart in the Jungle. Yeah, they just filmed last night. I put it on my Facebook page. You'll see a picture. What they did, we have these, uh, there are these, each uh, entryway. There are like three, four different buildings. Four, four buildings. Four lobbies and four, and anyway. Around the court. Each of, each of them have these old, old globe. globe lights, these lights with a globe on top, right? But they've never been lit. They're only lit and, when and, they do and, movies and here. When they come and do the movies. The Pan Am movie. Yeah, Pan Am, the TV show. Yeah. They go, and I guess they run light, a light in there yeah. and turn them on. And it looks wonderful. It has a, like, a soft glow. And I was telling her last night, if somehow we get a decent judgment in our legal case, I want to just, of my own volition, get an okay from the landlord and, do and it. have those lights put back. Permanently. In the, in, they look, it just makes the place look good, you know? Uh, and uh, so, last night we had a few problems here. 
Oh, oh I, I, but it was fine the way you seemed well, to put it Well, it seems like it's running okay tonight, that there's no problem at all with, uh, uh, I mean, fingers crossed, because it didn't happen until an hour in, but uh, that there were, there were problems with, uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, Facebook. Facebook. And, and, and I lost uh, recording the signal once. So I then, after the show, had to go into an editing program, edit the two pieces together, then have it make a file, which then takes an hour, okay, to generate, the, mm. render the file, file. Then I had to take that file, which was really large, and make it much smaller by running it through another program, which took another 40 minutes. And this and, all happened on a night when I couldn't sleep. Yeah. I couldn't sleep. Yeah. And, and so I didn't get to bed till about 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so I got to bed about 2.30, but woke just, up at 4. Just so three of you can see a completed version of the show. And I did see it today. And then I tried to put it on Facebook, and I couldn't get it on Facebook because they, were, they, be, they weren't accepting the files that I was sending. So I made it into a, a Vimeo and put the Vimeo up. I mean, thank God I've got, you know. We've got backups. The backups. You know, well, I just I don't want to say anything, but I think it's time that I roll over. It's not time you roll over. Why would it be time for you to roll over? Because by the time you get it going, huh? it's time to roll over. No, it isn't time to roll over. What makes you think it's time to roll over? It's 1028. Huh? It's 1026. Well, that's not time to roll over. I think so. It'll time. be time to roll over soon. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Where did that go? Okay. Now. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, let's see, we talked about the kitty. Talked about the fact that I only had two hours of sleep last night. Yeah, yeah. I did fall asleep with my mouth open watching television. Yes, you did. You did. <laughs> uh, best way to get her to fall asleep is turn on a TV show that she says she desperately wants no, to watch. No, no. When I first come home from work and we watch something, yeah. that's when I fall asleep. Most people, when they watch a, uh, they binge watch a series of, say, 10 episodes of a show, it takes them 10 hours. Her, it takes like 15 hours because she keeps falling asleep and then <laughs> has to turn it back. Yeah. So that's why I get mad when she binge watches stuff because she doesn't sit there watching it. Binge watching is great. I can't, it's just, I, hate, I, I love hate. it. I love it. I just finished the code, which by the way was very it good. It looks like it's a pretty good yeah, thing. It's, yeah, it's good. I enjoyed it. A whole bunch of supernatural stuff in it and stuff about calligraphy or, or no it's all about a code breaking the code for nuclear you know the, the guy was able to figure it out yeah and then he figured it out and yeah people in this and, company and, and, were and, after and, him and it's good even though it's from australia yeah is, is what you're yeah. saying okay yeah. not bad well if you want to i guess you could roll over because now it's 28 huh. it's 28 I'm but here she comes over. she's rolling over here she goes rolling over rolling over rolling over there you go. Uh, you know what's cute? Also, if you uh, uh, if you look further down, there's a video from last week's show, and there's a still that I took and put as the still that comes up of the cat looking at me and you trying to hold the cat when oh. you brought her in here <laughs> last week. See, there we go with the cat again. There we go. Uh, gee, we should talk about our other child, Donald Trump. Oh, God. God, is that getting embarrassing or what? There's, they say you know, that this you know, guy that he hired for the come communications. Come on in. Come, come in a little more. Uh, uh, Scaramucci or Mucci, Scaramucci. Mucci. They Mucci. said that he is so out of it that he makes Donald Trump look sane. It, really? And well, he it, he called Bannard. He t said that he was kissing his dick and and. Yeah, but anyway, we'll get we'll get to that later. Boy, you, a know, lot you know what today. it is? It, he, it, it Trump is a lot like the cat we took care of in this respect that somehow you have to pay constant attention to them because they never let you forget they're there. He's like, you know? a, he's like a, a spoiled brat seven-year-old. Yeah. Well, a anyway. fat spoiled brat seven-year-old. I'm going to turn on the phones here. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, I'm, I'm turning on the phones 25 seconds early and see Come if on. anybody calls. Uh, if you want to know how to call this program, I could give you all the... Info. Info. But all you have to do is go to gabnet.net, G-A-B-N-E-T dot... Net. Go over there on the right hand side of the page is just a whole tutorial on how you can get Skype, how you can install it, uh, how, how you a button that you can just push to call the program, um, a phone number if you, if you don't it? have Skype, a, a phone number. What? And how about watching it? How about watching, watching it? Watching it live, not calling it, just watching it. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you could do that too. Uh, but uh, but uh, you, no, you can hear it there. You can, only can watch it on Facebook. I meant hear it. Live. I meant hear it. Okay. So we're waiting now to see for people to call. And in the beginning, there's nobody. And by the end of the show, I can, I have I can get I can't get a word in edgewise because like last night we had a full house again. Yeah. We had yeah. over a full house. No, we didn't. I don't think we had over a full house. We had just just a full house. But I wasn't talking much because I was spending most of the time trying to fix the uh, the video feed. So it was a anyway. good show last night. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah mainly based, because I didn't say anything. Because <laughs> it was about Donald Trump. <laughs> hmm? I'm I, I'm getting somewhat. I think we're all getting a little tired of talking about. And it's it. only six months in. We've you know. got like a long But anyway, time to go. I'm I'm waiting for for somebody to call. You know, uh, they will eventually. I think. Um, do I have the phones on? Yeah, I have the phones on. Uh, everything's ready to go. I'll k put the audio up so I can hear if somebody's is it a ringing. Free night. You see, what happens is nobody watches the first half hour of the that's show. That's the best part. That's when I'm on. Yeah, that's when all the all the comedians yeah. are on too. But nobody does. And then I uh, see Jeff Stein has just okay. come online. All right, Jeff. So he's he, he's Getting warmed ready. up his Skype. So we know that Jeff will be calling, and here he comes. Here Jeff he is. is the first one in. Hey, Jeff. Hey. How are you? Hi, Jeff. Hi, guys. He's, you know? he's the first one up, ladies Happy and Friday. gentlemen. Yeah. Well, I still got a little energy today. You, you have a little energy today? Yeah. Why, well, why, why wouldn't you have energy? Well, you know, I had that surgery, so I'm still healing. Recovering, so to speak. It's going to take, uh, I don't know, a couple more weeks. Yeah, how long does it? it how makes some new issue? What? What did you say? You me? No, I heard, heard you. I heard you. I just, uh, I just wasn't paying close enough attention. I mean, can, what happened? Did you lose me? He looks bewildered. Can you talk? But here comes, comes Rob. Rob. So we can add Rob to the group. Um, Hey Rob, oh now you're you're breaking up a little bit there. Uh, yeah. it, now you're okay. Now, now you're okay. okay. Hey Rob. Hey Marjorie, how are Hi, you? Hi, how are you? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Had to give up our kitty this week. I heard. Yeah. It's tough. We fell in love. No, oh, we fell yeah. a big, big time. Yeah. You know. Uh, yeah. But it, it was it was good. It was good. You know. It's nice to know. It's nice to know I can still feel something for an animal. You know, because it's been, it's been years since I've actually had a cat. What, what's all that crackling going on there, Jeff? I'm switching it on and off. Really? You got like sounds like you have a loose connection or something. I think uh, one of my little pieces here, which yeah. is Samsung. Yeah. Is crapping out. Oh, really? Time like to replace. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy, it's, it's this thing. Hey, Rob's oh, not oh, in that, bed. That, that's your little microphone thing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it sounds fine now. Well, I think I'm working directly from Apple. Oh, okay. You're working from the computer. Okay. Well, it's right. fine. But I was working through this, and oh well. I think it has a little better sound. Yeah, but it's but it kind crackles. of kind it's of crapping cr out. Yeah, yeah, it's crackling. Um, and Rob's not in bed. And he, there's not a lot of light where no. Rob is. Rob is very in, in. Yeah, I only have one light in the room, and it's over behind there. my desk over there. Yeah, this is their this is their crash pad. Until the yeah, house is ready. It's a mess. Yeah, but we saw we saw pictures of your house. It's coming along great. Yeah, it's coming along. You it's know, exciting. The walls are going up, and yeah, you know. For six weeks. Wow. Six weeks. Yep. That's six amazing. weeks till I get new promos, huh? No, seven no, weeks. You have to build the studio. Until we close, and then, and then it's got to be painted, and then we'll move in, and then, and first things first, I gotta get the house in order, and yeah. then I build the studio, and then we we'll do the promos. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. And, and I'm going to want like 80 of them, okay? Because <laughs> we've been running the same Fakakta promos over and over again. I've taken a few and repurposed them. You know, yeah, but uh, you know, uh, I, I got news. Oh, uh, uh, I, I, I'd have uh, I'd have Phil Meyer do the promos, there he is. but you know he'd use all those stupid sound effects and everything. So, <laughs> hey Phil, hey Phil, how uh, are you this I, evening? I, just attention, you know, would be attention. Uh, 
cabinet uh, members. <laughs> members? <laughs> Boy, whatever. that would be the worst club ever, wouldn't it? Hey, did you hear at Walmart now is going to have a new job manufacturer? They're going to start one. And it's going to bring 1.5 million jobs. So that is so phony. Well, I mean, I don't know. Walmart's if, closing if, up places. If Walmart, if Walmart does it, uh, all the more power to them, you know, because for so long, everything in that store has been made in China. You know, well, so. they're going to have an area that they're going to manufacture for the Gabnet store, yeah. and it'll be a, a, an exclusive. Made at, in at America. All the Wal Walmart's. Yeah, they're, it's going to employ Americans. all of three. It's going to employ all of three people, and two of and two of and, and two and two of, two of them are going to be interns. So you know. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Why, why don't you just turn that other microphone off, uh, uh, um, Jeff? Okay. Because it it just it keeps. Oh. Spitting. Spitting. If indeed you're going through your your screen for your mic, you're fine. You, 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 you'll sound okay. Say say something, Jeff. It sounds fine to me. Yeah, yeah that sounds perfect. great. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. I yeah. think I ought to throw away all these twenty-seven dollars things. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You Walmart know what I did? What I bought yesterday? I bought a, a fifty-foot USB cord so I could set up a camera. If something's happening outside, or I can take pictures of the street while the show is on, and uh, have a remote camera. Uh, well, I, I, I thought a movie uh, last Ozart night. in the Jungle or whatever yeah. was filming again at your. Yeah, uh, and if I, that's that's why I wished I had had a fifty foot. Did you see the picture I posted? Would you talk to the mic? Did. Well, because you have it all the way over there. Well, I can't bring it over here. Well, there, I posted it. And yeah. that was taken from our kitchen, no, from our lo our lobby on our, on the eighth floor. Oh, very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. But anyway, um, uh, they're, they're filming uh, in Martinez. Uh, Thirteen reasons why, and uh, so they're uh, asking people they come by not to give any spoilers. That's the one about the suicide, uh, the kid that. Uh, yeah, it's some show on Netflix. Series. It's very popular. Yeah. Yeah, it's very yeah. popular. I hadn't watched it, but that's... But it's uh, probably it's more for the kids than for me. I just saw two promos on HBO for um, series. I don't know whether it's a series or a movie, but one's with Jake Gyllenhaal and one's with his sister. What? Yeah, that's the one about about, 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 the, about the porn industry yeah. in New York. And the one with yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal is kind of like a, um, a, a, a thriller. Oh, really? Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, well, it all they, it, tra trailers always look great, That's but you know true. how can HBO go wrong with a show about the porn industry That's back true. in the back in the seventies? <laughs> yeah, it better be accurate because I know that industry back in the seventies <laughs> intimately. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm up, uh, uh, on the Ozark, uh, uh, Bobby Dean was floating in the uh, uh, next to the dock. So uh, that, that's that's where I'm up to. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, you're, he's watching Ozark in the jungle. No Ozark. Right. It's, Ozark. Yeah. Yeah. We have one left. We have one left. It it's okay. It's, it's not, not great. It's not great. But it's not bad. Like Shecky yeah. asked me the it other does day. Get he said, uh, 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 "Ozark, are you watching it?" And I said, uh, "Yeah." He says, "What do you think?" I said, uh, "It's okay." You know, it wasn't like it was bad. It's not bad. It's just no, not great. It's not great. It, it, it's good, it, but it it's not great. It wasn't as good as Breaking Bad, but it wasn't it's, bad either, you know. I mean, Breaking Bad was great. Yeah, but yeah, this well, is different. Well, and this is different. Uh, uh, this one... Didn't have that angst. Well, no, it didn't have that angst. No, not even close. You know, so? no. No. You, know you got the drug dealer. No, you got, uh, no, no, not the no. drug dealer. You got the money launderer for the cartel thing and uh you know uh, the guy goes he shoots all those people i, I thought it was you know it was well, actually the actually the eighth episode is pretty good because it tells what history. happened before they went there how we got into it and and it, i thought that was the more most interesting when episode were, because it explained a lot when they were young and and were just having babies I mean, and how they got into why the they business. apparently dislike each other so much you know they don't so dislike on. each other well they do on a certain not level. really it's kind of like you and i well, okay. Yeah, <laughs> uh, 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 and the attorney's son wants to know why uh, he supposedly killed himself uh, by falling from the 80th floor. Really? Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I uh, uh, 
Uh, let me see here. So you're going to go to sleep? I'm going to go to sleep. See, I'm kicking hey, around. Hey. I'm kicking around. Mm. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. I'm wearing, I'm kiss, wearing good night. shorts. Kiss the kitty right. for me. I will. Yeah. Uh, geez. Yeah. Good yeah. night. God, do we miss that cat? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, I have to ship you a cat for you. No, no, don't ship me a cat. And nobody send me cats, okay? Just if, if, if you're thinking, oh, hey, Alex could really use a cat. Yeah, I love it. I love it when we have four people on the screen at one time, like it is right now, because it looks like the Let It Be album cover. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I'm just trying to figure out which one is Paul. Um, anyway, uh, Paul, uh, isn't Paul dead? I think I think ja Mike would be Ringo. Uh, uh, Jeff would be George. Am I, am I getting this pretty good, everybody? Yeah. And now the other two people are going. And what's he going to say? I am. Uh, I would. I, 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 I would say because I be, uh, because of your demeanor, I'd say you're Paul McCartney, Phil, and Rob, you're John Lennon. Oh, okay. Because of your intellect. Okay. Oh. So. <laughs> I, I thought I was the fifth Beatle. <laughs> no. I, I was the fifth Ramon. Does that mean anything? Oh, yeah, no. that, that and 15 cents will get you a couple of Yeah, and some people are probably listening going, who the fuck were the Ramones? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, quite, you know, every day I come in here, I go, you know, I'm, it'd be nice to spend the whole uh, uh, two hours and never mention Donald Trump. But somehow, as I say, he's like the cat, you know, who will not let you forget that he's around. So they always are doing something to attract your attention. What do you do today? Oh, you, you weren't. What, there were a couple of things today, weren't there? There was at least one. News today. Which was he fired Reince Priebus. Oh, Reince Priebus, yeah. That well, I, supposedly Priebus resigned last night. Is that what and they're they saying? They announced it today. Did, did they have him strapped to a chair? And No, uh, but the, they the story put I heard. A, a towel over his head, and they were pouring water in the towel? I saw the interview with Priebus and. Uh, <laughs> And Wolf Blitzer tonight at about yeah. six o'clock, six thirty yeah. at night tonight. Yeah, and he was uh, really gracious and unfortunately not very forthcoming about anything. He he he's thinking about a next job, I guess, and and didn't want to burn bridges, so he he said great things about Trump and all lies, obviously all right lies. Well, how can Did you how you? how could you leave that that cabal? The way you were being assailed, I mean, the Scaramucci or whatever his name is, Mucci, um, was just saying horrible things about him. You yeah, know? he wouldn't even engage because he tried, Wolf tried to get him to engage on, on at least Scaramucci, and he said, I'm not going to go there. I'm here to honor the president, and, you know, I'll honor the president every day of my life type thing. That was the interview. <laughs> Yeah, that's what Scott Sessions said. Uh, he said he, he uh, you know, he was being interviewed. I don't remember by who, but uh, they they were trying to get him to uh, comment about uh, Trump's yeah. uh, comments about uh, Sessions. And he says, "Hey, I, you know, uh, if he wants to fire me, he can fire me. I, I serve at his discretion." And uh, it was a classy thing. They're well, all far classier than he is. Well, they're, they're all trying. They're all well. They've learned how to be class. I mean, they've learned the rules of the road for being in Washington, you know, and the certain courtesies that you give, even though sometimes they're a little. You got to bite your tongue when you do them. And Sessions, I yeah, I heard him say, uh, you know, the president wants to get rid of me. You know, I I serve at his pleasure, you know. Yeah. But he didn't. Uh, he said he, he didn't say anything about retiring. Uh, what? Did you hear Schumer uh, uh, talking about McCain and uh, you know uh, saying that it's it's time to start doing what McCain had recommended, which was uh, start to do our jobs? Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I, I think the uh, you know it's coming. Yeah. Uh, did you did you also possibly? I sent you a thing about uh, the um, uh, British healthcare uh, that uh, people that are overweight and smokers are being uh, denied. Uh, hip operations and things like that. They're being denied hip operations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. I'll I'll pull it up again. Why would they be denied hip operations? Because they're high risk, and they uh, put themselves at high risk. Yeah, possibly. Uh, 
let's see. Let me just get over to it. Let me just take a second. Uh, yeah, it was it was an interesting article, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it was uh, it was uh, published. It was uh, by Forbes magazine. It's uh, British government hospitals to bar smokers and overweight patients from surgery due to okay, come on, download due to budget constraints, and uh, uh, oh. I have my door open. Can you hear somebody revving their uh, engine? Yes. I thought that was Tony. I, I wasn't Yeah, but, but Tony is in here. Tony's Tony is in here. If he were here, we could have, like, dueling no, 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 motors. Me. And, I, and I'm thinking about shooting the guy. <laughs> Jeff had his uh, hand up. Jeff? Be that. Wait a minute. As, as, far, as far as orthopedic people, I, I don't have much to, to say, but as far as the uh, cardiology kind of stuff, uh, heart surgery versus smoking, Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is obviously a bad, bad strategy to to continue to smoke after having heart surgery. That, that is stupid. It, well, this, it, this it, didn't mention that. This was, uh, uh, they decided to bar obese patients and smokers from undergoing hip and knee operations. Uh, probably because that's like spitting in the ocean. You know, that, well, that if, if, if somebody is going to, if you're going to fix somebody's hip and they're not going to lose weight, that hip's going to go again. Yeah, you know, uh, but uh, they're they're saying it's because of uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, because of funds, uh, and and they're basing it on your BMI. So uh, if you're B, if you have a BMI of thirty, uh, they're not going to do the operation. BMI. So, I had a I I had a good BM today. Does that count? <laughs> I'll bet you did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Plug up the toilet. It, yeah. Yeah. It was, a, but, yeah. Uh, well, they're I saying. Hmm? Who's the, uh, at one time he was the head uh, heart surgeon at Yale. Mm -hmm. and, and he said, I'm not going to take any more patients who, who don't stop smoking. He says, it's ridiculous. He says, I, I, I there, you know, I worked there 10, 12 hours during surgery. And he says, and then, you know, a year from later, they're gone. Yeah, why waste a heart on a guy like that? Well, it's like a guy who goes and gets a liver transplant because he drank the other one to death and decides he's got now got another 10, 15 good years of drinking ahead of him. You know, I mean, uh, you're wasting a good liver or whatever on this guy. So, Of course, uh, I have to well, admit that that I, I used to smoke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when I had my first heart surgery, I, I continued to smoke afterwards after a while but yeah. then my wife finally convinced me uh, either no more sex and uh, no more cigarettes or a lot of cigarettes so. yeah. yeah well I've had I've had doctors say to me uh, that I, I went to a, a urologist once who said to me uh, I said uh, he said uh, um, well you know we got to give you a cystoscopy because we got to make sure you don't have uh, uh, bladder cancer and I went, why would I have bladder cancer? He says, well, you know, you smoked for 40 pack years. That was the way he put it. I said, well, no, I smoked 20 years. He said, yeah, but you smoke two packs a day, so that's 40 pack years, and you never know. And I said, but I quit 25 years ago. And he looked at me, and he said, well, you could still have it. And I looked at him, and I said, oh, then I guess I can go back to smoking, huh? You know, because what, why the hell did I go through all of that? You know, uh, oh no, don't don't go back to smoking. Well, I said then don't give me the goddamn cystoscopy. Hey, uh, Brian, is it raining uh, pretty hard by you? Yes, it is. Brian is. What is that noise? Is that Brian in his car yeah, making car. noise? Yeah, uh, maybe. Is your window open? No, right? Angels are taking a walking piss on my fucking car. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. But there's Brian. He's on in his car, and I always like that because it gives this show a sense of movement. You know, in fact, let me blow him up a second here, and you can just see him. See, you see the the lights going behind him, and you see him driving. And he's a policeman, as you can see, because he has that grill there in back of him. Keep the spitters away. It, it keeps the spitters away. No, why do you, why do you have that grill there? Um, yeah, that, that's that, that company, but, uh, yeah. Oh, so you're in the company car right now, right? Yeah, Brian. Your audio is your, uh, is your really audio is somewhat or something. Mm -hmm. as, as we used to say. 
Uh, but anyway, uh, hello, Tony. How are you today? Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. How was work Tony. today? Anything exciting happened no, at work? I'm on vacation. Again? Um, the whole this whole weekend next week. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. No hats. So basically, I get so, to stay up all night and do whatever I want. So who's gonna, who's going to fold the bo hat boxes and stuff like that? Nobody for two weeks. Then when I come back, it'll be fun and games. I guess. Oh. See, what I don't understand is you're working in a place, you're t you're dying of the heat, and you get two weeks off, and you're sitting around talking on GabNet in the, from the Queens. I'm uh, actually relaxing now. Yeah, no, you impressive. relax when you go to an all-inclusive resort. That's how you relax. Well, well I have a contractor I, in my basement lurking, so I can't leave. He just thought it. I've never oh, liked those. All, I've place. never liked those all-inclusive resorts. No, uh, no, you know they're they're easy. It's like going on a cruise you know, they, without well, the that's, ocean. That's uh, the reason I won't go on a cruise too. I I you know I would hate to. Uh, uh, turn off your mic a little bit. Turn off your mic when you're not talking, Brian, because uh, it's making some noise from all the noise in the car. Oh, thank you. Okay. And when you want to talk, just turn it on. Anyway. Have you been to any of those all-inclusives? Uh, yeah. Uh, from, from time to time. I can't remember now. But, you know, I just... Club I, matters, I, 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 when I go on a vacation, I don't like to stay in one place. I like yeah. to move from place to place. So what I will do is I will go to Europe and rent a car. And then I will drive from town to town, staying in various towns along the way. And sometimes I don't even have a plan. And we find yeah. a town we really love. And uh, we, uh, you know, stay there for a night or two. Uh, you know, I, I've the one, done of the, that. one of the best hotels I ever stayed at in my life happened that way where I just needed some place to stay. So we pulled off the road and we wound up at this place. It was a former Russian palace on the French <laughs> Riviera. Uh, wait a minute. Got to wait for we got to wait for Kevin to turn his uh, oh, stuff audio. off there. Got it. Sorry. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. We, we all have our, our cross to bear here. But anyway, <laughs> so, so I. Um, so I stay, So we pulled off, and here was this place, and it was beautiful and gorgeous, and we were only going to stay there for the night, and it was so nice, and it was not cheap, but it was really nice. It's called Capistel, and it's right on the Cape, and um, uh, it's kind of like a mansion you're staying in, and it was so nice that we stayed there for three nights. We just kept saying, can we stay another night? Yeah, we got the room. You can stay in the room. And I spent three nights there. It was so nice. So, so sometimes I like adventuring. And some nights you stay in a shitty hotel, you know? I drove from Paris to Milan through the Mont Blanc Tunnel and, uh, and, and so forth uh, because I was, I was working in Milan. And, uh, and, but I, I went to Paris first. And I felt that the drive was stressful, although it was really nice to see the things that I saw. Uh, after I got to Milan... I traveled a bit more, and I took the train. And I the trains the, are very nice, but, yeah, the the, but you have great trains over there. Yeah, yeah uh, that was the way to travel. It was no stress whatsoever. Well, train. I found every time I've ever taken a train, it is the easiest way to travel. There's no mm -hmm. another stress of driving, and it's there's lots of leg room, and yeah. you've got <laughs> meals if you want them. You know, it's it's very nice. Well, yes, you just get off. You get off in a town, and then I wait. Yeah, so. and wait for the next train to come by to catch it after seeing the town. Right, at work yeah. and having lunch or whatever. Now, it was, it was, on the other yeah. hand, I'll get to you in a second, Mike. On the other okay. hand, the, the thing about taking a, a cruise, say, through Europe, through the rivers and stuff, and I know my friend Shecky loves to do these cruises, yeah. but to me, I'll see a town and go, well, that's awfully nice. Could you stop the boat, please, so I can go see it? And, they, they, you know, you're, you're going wherever the boat's going. And yeah. then wherever the boat's going, when it unloads, all the people in those towns are ready to hustle you, you know, because yeah. that's how they make their living. I've never done a river cruise. I've done a couple of cruises, uh, Mediterranean, uh, uh, Bahamas, uh, and then I worked on a cruise ship a couple of times when I was a kid. Uh, but um, for the most part, uh, the cruises go too fast. It, it's like a, it is like a cattle car. Uh, and you really don't get to spend much time in, in any place. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, when I go to these all-inclusives, if I go by myself, 
it's easy. They set you down at a table with other people that just ask you what languages you speak. And yeah. If I wanted to improve my Italian or my French, I, I'd sit with those guys. And uh, the food is pretty reasonable. It's it's good. I they don't uh, I don't um, they make a lot of money on me with the booze because the booze is included. Yeah. But I don't I don't touch it. And I'm usually at a resort with other scuba you know, divers. We're, we're sounding uh, yeah. I'm tired of hearing you talk about scuba diving. Well, uh, we get up I at really 6 am. in the morning. What? And, and we get up at 6 in the morning. Oh, yeah. That's one of the reasons I would never go scuba diving is because I have to get up at 6 in the morning. Go ahead. But, but, the, but the people who are drinking, they get up at 6 at night and, or, or, or 10 at night, and they go to sleep at 5 in the morning. So we never see a whole group of people at these resorts. The only time I ever put on a, 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 a what do you call it, a wetsuit yeah. Yeah. Uh, was because we were doing a TV show, and I had to have a wetsuit yeah. on and they put a wetsuit on me and i know why they call them wetsuits now because i was sweating like a pig because if you're not in water those things yeah, are not the best <laughs> thing to have on yeah you know but yes mike but is, isn't the trains in europe a little expensive though to travel oh. by and yeah. you can get a pass too you can get a pass is you can it? get a, 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 a rail pass or whatever that allow you to travel all through europe for like a week or two weeks or whatever period of time yeah, one a friend price. of mine's mother and dad, they traveled uh, through England. Yeah. They went to, to like, like you, Phil, down to town. Yeah. So yes. That was the most, the most peaceful drive. Once in a while, they run across some sheep, sheep going across the highway. So that was funny. You just reach out and just kind of go, hi there. How you doing? And they just, they just walk, you know, just keep on walking. Just, but it's beautiful little towns. Oh, yeah. yeah. By the way, one more person and we have a full house. Wow. Wow. You know, a full house. I mean, uh, we can we can now do more than a full house. What's better than a full house? That's it, right? When I don't know about cards, it's the best no, hand. Not, no. uh, Royal flush. Oh, okay. So if we get a, if we get more, if, if we get one more than a full house, we get a royal <laughs> flush here. Yeah. Uh, but isn't the uh, the rail passes though? It depends how far you want to go, right? How much you uh, want to No, I think they're good anywhere. Right? You can. It's pretty much you know as much as you can eat. You know, uh, oh hey, here comes Mark. Here comes Mark Thorner. Yes, Mark, you are now making made it a full house here. Oh, hey. Yeah, yeah. Turn. Can you turn your light on just a little bit more or something? Or no, that... I had to call in because you're talking about alcohol. Yeah. Oh really? Do we have a level? Well, the, now? State, the, the State Department's issued a warning. In Mexico, they've had uh, maybe die, but people get sick from. Painted alcohol at these uh, resorts. It's ethanol that they're uh, putting in the uh, in the booze. They said. And it makes you really drunk really quick. I think. Well, it can kill you. You know, it's like wood alcohol right. would blind people. We were on a cruise in the Caribbean, and I remember having two drinks and yeah. getting out of my mind drunk. So I don't know what they put in. Wow. Well, uh, I I don't think they are supposed to put that stuff in. No, no, they're not. Yeah. Remember, they're out of the United States. They're yeah, they're offshore. They could probably do anything. <laughs> anything they want to do. Once, once yeah, again. but that stuff. Did, did you hear about, did you hear about the, the, the cruise where they had a murder mystery dinner? And that's where that guy killed his wife. Oh and they had announcements coming over the speakers. And they thought it was part of the party. <laughs> but something else was the Yeah. Sounds like she, a was, she was laughing at him and wouldn't stop, so he killed her. That's funny. He was ready to put her, push her over the side when they caught him. That's funny. I noticed Marcella Roberts just came on, so that would make us, uh, let's see here, that, this would make us a, a royal flush, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I actually should put a limit on it because one night I think we had 13 with me. Mm -hmm. and, and everybody started talking at the same time. And the, I, being the traffic director here, was an oh. almost impossible task. It was only because it was the first one. You know, uh, I think we're all wised up to it, and uh, you know, we realize if there's that many people, you really got to behave yourself. Well, no, what people Plus, do is they just sit, it, it, pretty much they just sit back and listen to Phil talk. <laughs> you know what beats a royal flush? What beats a royal no. flush? Twelve disciples. Twelve disciples. <laughs> Yep, that's when you have 12 disciples. Oh, that'd be, that'd be good. Yes, Brian. And, 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 uh, 
Boy, you're you're kind of it's hard to hear you for some reason. It's kind of it's kind of sketchy. Are you able? Aren't you able to mute their microphone? Am I able to mute you? You mean? You have an extreme wind noise. Yeah. He's asking if you can uh, if you can mute our microphones, Alex. No. 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 I have no Only control. All at once. Oh, oh no! All at once, I, I, I can't even do it all at once. I'd have to just get rid of all of you all at once. Right. Marcella has joined us. Marcella, are you going to turn on your camera so we can see what kind of a blue screen, green screen you're using tonight? Oh, we lost her. Yeah, we didn't have her. Don't see her. Yeah, she disappeared. We we lost her. Uh, she'll probably try again. She's been do, using a green screen, which has been making. Phil just jealous as hell because he'd been trying and, to get a green Alex, because uh, I know you secret, secretly want one, you know. And, well, I don't know what I would do with it. I mean, I when I was doing the TV show from the TV studio, that's all we ever used. That's how we yeah. had the whole virtual set and all of that, you know. So I'm used to working with with a green screen. What I'm not used to working with is real furniture. So <laughs> it's uh, you know, so. Uh, uh, but you know what? Sometimes it's nice being at home, no one realizes. Yeah. By the way, Rob, as long as we were yes. talking about cats, you have two cats. You have two mm -hmm. rag dolls. Right. Uh, and how did they take to being in a new apartment all of a sudden in a new place? Well, shockingly, I thought it was going to be a nightmare, but they took to this place so well. Really? Uh, we're going to see now. Because this is small. I mean, it's yeah. compared to my house, it's less than half the size of it. So we move from this big place down to this little apartment is going to be interesting to see six weeks from now when we move into the big house again how they're going to take to that because yeah. they took to this like i couldn't believe it they were comfortable immediately yeah. mm. here comes I, we'll see here comes I mark told the client here, today here, rob about your uh i potty or whatever uh what is it uh, the uh oh the litter robot litter robot yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, now they, yeah. they've got to have one. Is there one model over another that you'd recommend? The litter robot. Yeah. Here, uh, by the way, latest, we've been, we've been joined by generation. we've been joined by Mark Green, and really, we can't take anybody else. Otherwise, I have to do a whole thing with widening the screen. Okay, uh, because it does it doesn't accommodate itself just to the screen size. It, like you know, so I I would have to well. If you want to call, call. What the hell? Hi, hi, Mark. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Fine. Uh, you must be uh, watching the whole political scene with great, oh, uh, great aplomb, it's, right? Or are you just so fed up with it you don't want to pay attention to it? I don't watch the news as much as I used to. And, but, uh, and the reason for that is you don't like what's on the news? You don't like the way it's reported? No, I can't believe what I'm. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I yeah, mean, it's like uh, I can't believe that people this abnormal are in charge of everything that, in this country. Well, what you're watching now, and is you're literally watching uh, the administration implode. I mean, it, it it couldn't be worse. Does anybody get this impression that the, everything is just uh, not? It's not working very well at the White House. Everybody still hasn't settled the cabinet. There's no settling yet. Yeah. You know. You know. You know who should have taken the fall for the repeal not going through is Pence. He was supposed to be the master of dealing with Congress. Oh, really? Because he was from Congress. He knows everybody. But he he kind of snuck out the back door when they were voting last night. Yeah. Yeah. And well, uh, well uh, and, and, oh, oh, that Trump was Trump won't well, badmouth him because he. Trump might need a party. You know, these day. things <laughs> these things happen right? so fast. These things happen so fast that I forgot to bring up what I considered the biggest story of the day, and that was McCain. Yep. Uh, I think I remember somebody asking me on the show maybe a couple of nights ago, I mean, when's McCain going to do something right for a change, you know? When's he going to come out against this bill instead of for it? He's got health problems, he should know better. And here comes McCain. He becomes the hero of the day. Last night, yeah. You know, and you know what he pro you know what he proved? What did he, he proved that cancer 
actually can save millions of lives. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. If he, hadn't, if he didn't get cancer, would he have voted yes or no? I, I, think, I, think, I think he still would have voted no. I think he would have he still said, voted yeah, no. He said he would not vote uh, positively on this bill. Uh, he wanted them to... No, well, he didn't say debate. that. The other night he said, I don't know how I'm going to vote on this bill. Is what he, uh, he said. said if it's the same bill, he's not he's not voting for it. Well, well I mean, but, this, but no, they, but this was this. to go to conference. If they went to conference, he was thinking about voting for it, and he wasn't sure till the last hour. I wonder if the skinny because, bill had a medical provision for anorexia. I'll let that joke just sit there for a while and see if anybody yeah, laughs a, at it. It makes all the uh, pocketbooks of the middle class become anorexic. Yeah. And all the pocketbooks of the one percent get. Yeah. Obese. <laughs> Mark, uh, you, you're, you're, li shit. you're lying there. How have you been feeling about what you've been seeing? Isn't it just isn't it just depressing as hell? Yeah, I think. I well, think no, no. Is. Oh, I, I, I was I was uh, aiming this. Excuse Oops, me. There are two marks. I was saying to Mark Thorner. Then I'll get to Mark Green. Yes, Mark. Mark Thorner. It's a clusterfuck. It has been since day one, and it's not going to get any better for a long time. Is this what happens when the amateurs get into the White House? You know, I mean, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not even amateurs. I, I, I mean, as bad as uh, as as we would like to think the Bush administration was, they were very competent at what they did. You know, you never had the feeling that the White House was in flux, as it were. And you feel here that it, it, there's nobody in charge, there's nobody making decisions, uh, and every day they're firing somebody and hiring somebody new, and it's, uh, you know, and, and do they understand what this does to the rest of the country, how it makes us feel like we're in flux? Yes, Brian. This should be a harsh lesson, a harsh, hard, though, thought-provoking lesson. Never say, how can things get any worse? Because exactly. things always find a way. And the other, the other line that we heard, what do you got to lose? By the oh, way, yeah, my sound good one, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Welcome okay, to the soap the opera. Yeah. Uh, Mark, yeah, they have the Mark. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Green. Yes. Oh, it sounds like Clue, Alex. Uh, yeah. How, how are you feeling about it all? I, I, I like I say, I mean, uh, to me, it's, it's bizarre. And... Uh, but I think I think the tide is finally turning. I can't I can't believe that that Trump can do what he what he does and that people s still vouch for him. Well, I can't. Well, here's what I can't believe is that things have gotten as bad as it has gotten. I mean, you have to look at the situation in the White House and say this is utter chaos. And not, it only took six months, Alex. Oh, wait, yes. I know, but wait a minute. But and, and for Trump not to say. How do I stop this clusterfuck? You know, how do where, where, should I shut up? Should I back off? Should we should we all calm down a little bit? But he doesn't he doesn't seem to do that. He's he seems to double down. He gets rid of uh, Sean Spicer, who you know was what uh, just a doofus, and he gets this guy uh, what's his name uh, 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 Scaramucci or whatever his name, his name is actually Screw the Poochie. Uh, screw the Poochie. Did you hear about Scaramucci's wife? Yeah, I heard she dumped him today. Yeah. Yeah, because he's uh, uh, he's 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 obsessed with Trump, or oh, in selling his company hybrid. Well, you know something. He always has a chance now that he's in the White House to blow Trump. So you know, yeah. I mean, probably will. Yeah. He scared that coochie away, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. He's Moochie made the coochie leave. Yes. Yes. Scary coochie. Um, the only person who's better at scaring away coochie would be Trump. Yeah. I mean, look at Melania. Her coochie's been scared off for like 11 years now. Oh, it's been closed for business for quite a while, I'm sure. You know. Uh, <laughs> he's probably wanted to have a baby and that Phil, was Phil it. has been uncharacteristically quiet, as though he hasn't been able to get his monitor to do the right color yeah. stuff. He's on recess, isn't he, for the month of August now? Who, uh, Phil? Who, Phil? All the, all the Republicans <laughs> oh, all the Republicans. Phil are on recess. They actually get to go on vacation now. Oh, they are doing their recess? Yeah. Yeah, and Trump's going to sign the sanctions bill. Yes, That's he is. That's what he sanctions. said. That's what yes. he said. He had to because yeah. he knew. If he didn't, it would show weakness because they were going to put it through anyway. Well, the qu my question. Any, 
Did anybody watch Richard Engel on MBC, MSNBC, who's been in Moscow for several months? He's been doing some good reporting uh, yeah, about I see how name. Russia operates. Yeah, uh, but the thing yeah, is, I heard they're cutting down. They're like cracking down on uh, U.S. embassies. Well, over there no, well, this this is what the result of the uh, of the sanctions are, is that the, right. uh, that Russia is going to throw out all the American uh, people, the embassy workers, and so on and have them pare down the amount of people they can have to 455 because here in the United States that's all the Soviet you know the, the Russia is allowed to have that's uh, the only official ones they're allowed to have yeah yeah uh, but the fact of the matter is that uh, um, uh, it, it, now they're going to start sanctions against us and I don't know that the sanctions were particularly a good idea until we have so rock solid proof that they involve themselves in our elections. Now, I have no doubt that they did, but we well, still have not had the rock solid proof presented to us. And all of our they had one, one of the hackers used to work for Kaspersky Labs, and they used that as a virus program on lots of government computers. Yeah, but that's what not you heard good. from the Richard Engel report. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, y y Jeff, were you saying something? Uh, uh, Mark, I yeah, mean, Mark I was, Green? What? I, I was going to say that I oh. think Trump. Is uh, is totally uh, irresponsible the w the way managing uh, being the president. He's just he's just crazy, and every day he's come up with a crazier idea. Yeah. And you know, this morning he was talking about in Long Island that uh, there was some kind of ga game game uh, problem that uh, people are getting hurt because of uh, uh, I call a mafia type organization yeah, yeah the MS-13 by the yeah. way by the way I'm uh, I, I put I put I, I, put I put full screen on here what uh, we're looking at is uh, Rob's cat dead you killed the cat tonight right yeah he's dead move your camera so I see that I have a strip of the people who are on on the bottom so move it up so it's a little more towards the top of the frame Top of the frame. Yeah, you can barely see it. Yeah, because we we haven't got the cat's head. Oh, wait a minute. which end is the cat? <laughs> the, the one. <laughs> the, the, her head is the closest to the 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 uh, it blinds. The blinds. Oh yeah, I just saw the ear leg, move. Lift her leg. Yeah, because she's got the, she's got all fours up. And she, yeah, that's the way he, that's the way he sleeps every night. Now, isn't this more interesting television, folks, than talking about Donald Trump? <laughs> you know, she, she's doing her impression of Priebus. A, a Priebus? Yeah, just rolling over and playing dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he rolled over and, no, he's still kissing butt. Uh, oh, oh, man. Hey, hey Tim, it's not everybody. Priebus. Hey, hey, Tim, it's not Priebus, it's Pubis. Oh, okay, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> now, the, the first big test for, for Kelly is, actually, are we a military-run country, country now? I'm not sure. But uh, Kelly's first test as a disciplinarian is he going to no, get rid of Scaramucci? Well, he's got he 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 well he's got to get rid of Scaramucci real quick. Well, uh, if he's Trump will fire him too. Trump will fire. <laughs> Boy, you can. This is fucked up. You could really have fun with that name, Scary Moochie. You know, you can Gary come up. Ducci. Scary Ducci. Scary Ducci. Yeah. Scary Ducci. Scary Ducci. Ducci. Yeah. Ducci Ducci. <laughs> Screw the Ducci. Yeah. Ducci. Yeah. Can you believe this whole? At least it's clean. <laughs> what were you? What were you? Gonna, what were you going to say, Tony? <laughs> this whole thing is so abnormal. It, you know it's what I think is up. more than anything. I think it's Trump ego. It's it's oh, everybody's God. really seeing now. If they didn't know it already, yeah. what a complete asshole he is. His dad never loved him. He's just a spoiled. No. We know why guy. his dad never loved him either. I, I right. can't see how his dad may have been a Klansman, but. He had a good idea, not loving that son. Yeah. Yeah, he was a disciplinary. Should have drowned was, the motherfucker oh, in the bathtub. Okay, everybody, everybody, a little one at a time. I've got to do the traffic here. Uh, um, uh, let me see here. Uh, Phil, you've been uncharacteristically quiet uh, through all of this. And, uh, I'm dealing with messages. You're what? I'm dealing with messages. What messages? On my phone. Uh, I mean, really important stuff? No, nah, just business. Just business? Probably got sales. Oh, you're making sales over the phone while we speak? Trying to yeah, sell the business. general plan. Yeah. <laughs>
By the way, at the end of the day yesterday, I did make $1,500 off the Sirius stock. It just went sky high yesterday. Yeah, it's it's the stock that just keeps on giving, huh? Yeah, well, you know, I'm not I'm not complaining. You know. Well, does that mean that Bezos is going to have to step aside and uh, that right. uh, you're going to take over his position? Oh, yes, yeah, so, right. Uh, I almost you, said the no. same thing, Phil. You've uh, <laughs> been on radio too long. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, but uh, is Bezos number one again today? I don't know. It was nip and tuck there for a while. I didn't watch any news. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so I thought the whole thing last night about McCain was just, you know, uh, McCain... This is going to be his last big thing, and he certainly did it right, you know? Uh, he really made us all have a, a good thought about him. Even if you were for against uh, Obamacare and the Affordable Care Act and you wanted this thing to pass, you, there's just something that makes you want to say, anyway, i got to respect the man. Right, because that's no way to pass a bill anyway. Uh, it, that's that's they they were dirty cops, dirty well, cops. Well, I think what they proved is they've they've got a a majority in in the Senate and they could not get this thing passed. You know, they, they it's taken them seven years to try and get rid of Obamacare and they haven't been able to do it and they still haven't been able to do it. It's because it was all rhetoric and they didn't have any substance behind them. If they had worked on a real plan and had one ready the day they had the opportunity to implement one, maybe yeah. it would have been different. Yeah, exactly. This, no this plan wasn't B. for health care. This was phase one of a tax cut. Now what are they going to do? There's going to be demonstrations for the, when the tax cut tries to go through. Oh, yeah. Now they can't do a tax cut like they wanted. Yeah. Because half of the tax cut was in this bill. Tony? Yeah. Said, Tony? Yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt anybody. I watched some of Trump's speech today, and he was glowing again how he told the people that Obamacare is going to explode. Like, he's actually happy. Well, yeah. yeah like, it's going to Yeah, that, that, that's that's being a good president, hoping I mean, the, the, wor is... the worst comes to your people now. You know? Hey, in Knoxville, Tennessee, they have no providers. And, uh, and it's, but whose fault it, is that? Oh, but d down in Fix Tennessee, it. they do. God is their provider. Yeah. <laughs> All the insurance companies are pulled out of that market. Give up, give, up the, give up the political bullshit and dig in, roll up your sleeves, and make it. Fix it. No, you sound like Schumer now. It's not, not because they're not making money, Phil. They're not, not making enough money. And they're playing a game just I, I, like I don't, Walmart. I, I don't know. Well, Phil, it. Phil, uh, Phil, I have to disagree with you. I, I, I think the reason they pulled out is because of the uncertainty about the future of yeah. the Affordable Care Act. And Trump feeds that by going on yeah. and saying, let it fail. Yeah. That really and is. and, and wait a moment, let me, let, me fin let me finish, Phil. Phil. Phil, let me finish. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, the, uh, it has been said that the reason a lot of these people are getting out is because of the uncertainty in the market because of trying to get the Affordable Care Act uh, done away with. Now that it doesn't look like that's necessarily going to happen, a lot of these guys may come back or some other insurance companies may jump in. Uh, but it had nothing to do with the fact that they were losing money on Obamacare. They couldn't possibly lose money on Obamacare that because Obamacare was making people have to get uh, uh, insurance from the insurance company. So, it, know, you know. I don't know why they pulled out, whether it was for money or not. Uh, but those people in that area don't have coverage. And uh, well, bill, if you do away with the afford, if you do, the if you do away with the Affordable Care Act, nobody will have coverage. And by the way, by the way, uh, according to uh, the statistics that I've seen, if tomorrow they did away with the Affordable Care Act and now they come up with something new or whatever, the cost of insurance would go higher than it is already. Yeah, because it wouldn't mandate that those that aren't sick have to pay for those that are. But you know the the funny thing is on that Forbes article, uh, it said that hey, national. I, I, I have to pay for highways, but I don't own a car. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's the way it. America works, Phil. It's called being a you community. Pay, you so pay it's for called my kids' society. education. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I pay for your kids' education, and I yes, never had any that's... kids. Thank, thank you, Alex. So, it's well, called here, society. Here's what Forbes. Well, has wait a minute. Answer that, Phil. 
You just well, said to me, oh, well, you know, you, you, the well people have to pay for the sick. Yeah. Well, the ki people yeah. without kids have to pay for your kid's education. Yes, but the, everybody gets to use education. Everybody gets to use the highways. Oh, and eventually everybody, everybody should get to use health care when they get sick. Yeah, but Whether those, you're poor uh, and destitute or if you're uh, fucking Trump. It, 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 you don't have to have health care. You can, you can pay the tax or the fine. You don't have to have health insurance. Oh, yeah. Well, I have health insurance. I just don't have it through the No, but all the people system. that don't decide not to have health insurance should pay some kind of tax because if they get sick or injured, they're going to end up at ER. That's right. And we're going to pay their bill well, for them one way or the uh, other. On your single-payer health care, if you get sick or injured, this is what Forbes has found that the national health care system in, in Britain is doing. You know, the doctors uh, routinely conceal from patients information about new therapies so that they don't have to pay for them. Terminally ill patients are incorrectly classified as ter close to death so that they can withdraw expensive life support. Uh, NHS expert guidelines on management and high cholesterol are inti intentionally out of date, putting patients at risk. And when... Uh, you know, there's. So none uh, of this happens here with the insurance we have now. No, but it happens under uh, the single payer health care system in in Those Britain. Doctors don't lie in America, and uh, you know they don't. Uh, well, you see where I'm going with this. Where are you getting this information from, Phil? It was a Forbes uh, thing. I sent it to you. Uh, on, don't, on don't, the don't worry. I, the don't worry. I, don't worry. I won't read it. <laughs> well, I, I, know you could. I mean, I know it was easy enough to click. Okay, but I'm not going to read it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, well, and plus the fact, uh, you know, I, I don't believe necessarily things I read in Forbes because they have, a, you know, they're a business uh, a publication. They're, they're, they're on business they're, they're side. Other, magazine. What, the other what, point I wanted to make real quick was if, uh, if that kind of stuff, if that kind of shit is being pulled on, uh, you know, it's not like, okay, I got the, uh, we, we, we got single parents here, here in the here, here in America, so we just should just uh, sit on our laurels and let the doctors do whatever the fuck they you want. Know, no, it's called vigilance. You have to be vigilant. And Brian, relax. Do you know that if you <laughs> if you pay for your own uh, uh, medical care in Britain, uh, that they'll throw you off their system? Uh, and uh, yeah, it says those who seek uh, to pay for such drugs or or their own uh, care are expelled from the NHS system for making the government look bad. And they're forced to pay entirely. Well, that of is their a very that's a very prejudicial. Uh, now I know this article ain't worth shit, because that's a very prejudicial. If you're reporting, that's a very prejudicial decision to come to. That they're getting they're getting this from uh, NHS, uh, uh, you know, patients and doctors. I'm and, saying uh, that you know you don't write a prejudicial statement in an article you're writing that would lead people to believe what you want them to believe, and that's exactly what you just read to me. Well, I, I read a article that was researched and published in. Forbes. How do you know it was researched? Fake news. <laughs> yeah, fake news. <laughs> fake news. Fake the news. don't do fake news. It's only the Democrats. Yeah. You can make Republican fake news. About anything. But that's something we, we would want to prevent our system from doing. We want to be vigilant. It has to be monitored. Yeah. Well, this is, uh, this uh, is what uh, I Jeff, read. This is Jeff, a Jeff, 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 okay, order. okay, Jeff has something to say. Jeff. As I remember uh, Massachusetts set up their own system. And yeah. It's for Romney. For Romney. Governor Romney. Romney care. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you didn't want yeah, to vote for wait, him wait, either. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, Jeff, go ahead. That Massachusetts has its own system outside of the so-called American or Obama system uh -huh. because they wanted a more robust, demanding system, and it's still they still have it, and it works fine for them. And a lot of other states yeah, could have some some something that they could design like what Massachusetts did and customize it for themselves. And they could do that easily and also utilize some of the benefits, the financial benefits of the feds. But I, I think a lot of uh, states and a lot of Republicans, if you hear from whatever I hear every day, don't want to give people insurance or let's say health insurance yeah because 
they're going to survive. I don't know. They they'd rather they'd rather have them die. It really. It's kind of the fuck you approach. Yeah, they're going to survive and vote Democrat or liberal or or green. Yeah, they don't want that. <laughs> Wait a second. Where the hell is Phil? And I can't see him. And why? I'm I'm here. There's uh, eleven. Slide, slide and, your uh, bar. Slide that bar uh -huh. left to right. Thank you. Okay, Phil. Hey. Here to if you Wait a minute. Hold on. This. Hold on a second. Because you just joined us, I had to redo the screen so that it would ah. uh, so that it would. Uh, Hi it, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Hello. Hey Phil. If you lived in a third world country, you would be cured of cancer right now. <laughs> it's hey, scary, isn't it? It feels like I'm living in a third world country. It's called California. So, so, That's so keep, keep keep telling us. Have you ever been to the UK, Phil? Have you actually stepped ground? Uh, five times. In in where the United Kingdom, Scotland, Ireland, uh, which one? Uh, the UK. I, I've traveled yes. as far as Oxford and uh, London, and uh, uh, um, you know, I, I went to Stonehenge, but uh, most of the time, each time I went there, most of the time I spent in London. So, did you did you see that that poor little boy died? Uh, I didn't know he died. I know they um, they decided not to uh, pursue treatment. And and why do you why were why was the doctors telling them that they aren't a good match for that particular treatment? They didn't want to be embarrassed by the American healthcare system. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's it. So, yeah. how you feeling? How's your prostate? Have you checked your PSA recently? Uh, December. December what? This in this December they've ordered a, another biopsy for me. Okay, but you haven't checked your PSA numbers recently, right? Uh, that's that's due. Okay, all right. In uh, uh, yeah. So here, here's the point. For everyone who is listening, 99% of the people on these panels are for health care, whether they're in most cases Democrat and or conservative and or Republican. Bill's been sick for more than a year. If he lived in a third world country, he would be cured, cured, cured by now. He chooses yeah. not to. Because have, I have a question. Oh, I gotta go soon. So. Yeah. But I do have a question. You you were talking about Charlie Gordon. What? Uh, I'm uh, just so, so convenient that the right uses that as an albatross for uh, you know uh, arguing against socialized medicine. What what what's the other side? I'm waiting to hear from. Trying to see what the other side is. Like you know, like uh, corrupt uh, doctors or. No, Phil's been giving you the other side. The other, the the real side. What doctors had said. These are not air quotes. I'm just saying doctors have said this. That child was not a good match for the trials that they were doing. That is the only reason. One of the only reasons they told the family not to bring the child over here. It wasn't their health care system. It wasn't their parents. It wasn't any of those things. And I am kind of sick of you people thinking that you are doctors. You people. Okay, yeah, hey, listen, listen. I, 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 I've got... Thinking that you are okay. doctors or capable enough to diagnose complex diseases without any medical education. Okay. Let, let me just jump in here because we have way too many people here to, to because uh, Je Jeff is like spinning like uh, around and uh, uh, Tony well, I gotta cut out anyway so you have you have to cut out Mark uh, Brian yeah. thank you because I, I need to I need to make this a little smaller here this group right, right. just I only need one but thank you Brian okay I good I really wish you would stop pushing this stuff I mean seriously it, 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 it's a detriment to yourself, even. That That's how far you're willing to go, is to endanger your own body to prove Donald Trump's point. Or yeah, to no, I, I'm just uh, using the Christian science method of... Uh, so did Jim Henson, and he died. I went to the museum, Alex. He was one of those Christian science guys. He's right. He's right. No one he wants died. you dead. He died. He would have lived. Yeah. No one wants you dead, except for yourself at this point 
it's a very slow growing cancer. There was no reason for me to uh, automatically react. Yeah. Uh, it looks like yeah. Mark Warner uh, has got his hand up. Yes, uh, yes, Mark. You know, getting back to this, you know, with the insurance, and I, I know the solution. It's going to be very unpopular. You have to change them back to nonprofits. Yeah, probably. Oh, absolutely. all of them. That's all right. All of them. Yeah. And then, you know, but sorry the cat was let out of the bag with that one, but that's the unpo my unpopular solution. Tough to go back, but you're right. Well, yeah. and it was your boy Reagan that put it that way. My boy. <laughs> well, it's not my boy. I remember being as almost as distraught about him becoming president as I was about Trump in the beginning. <laughs> it's funny how I was elated. <laughs> well, and there you go. He did a wonderful thing. Hey, aren't you worried? Big, like, it's it's the big reason why our health care costs are what they are. Yeah, the reason is, is all those crooked uh, politicians that we've got in the Senate and the House. Right, but, I, but see, if, I remember, if I remember correctly, your boy, <laughs> boy... Was supposed to clean that up. Yeah, he had everything all ready. Yeah. I had to do everything. Well, he's he's working on it, but he's being fought left and right by the swamp. Oh, Look, wait a he second. doesn't okay. control right. the electorate. I know he'd he like to. These guys. You mean your own people are fighting against Trump? Is that what uh, you're saying? They're not my people, but uh, the Republicans just, and the Democrats don't want to give up their little uh, their, their their little fiefdom. But let me ask you Wait, this what question. fiefdom is that, Phil? The fact that we're yeah, the minority right. party in the, in the in the government? It doesn't matter whether the majority or the minority. It just uh, depends on if it if they're in the minority, they get the lousy offices. If they're in the majority, they get the good offices, and they switch offices uh, every few years, and they all do the same thing. They all suck from the same tit. But that we should have public funded campaigns. Right, Absolutely. No. Right. Get if, the money if, out of politics. That's they right. Spend four hours a day. Well, that, 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 that's not that's one we, of the solutions in Mark's and Mark's solution. Hold on a second. Let me say something here, if you don't mind. Uh, Mark, uh, 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 Mark with a, with a C. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Mark Thorner's <laughs> assertion uh, that is one that I've said forever. That you know there was a time. When medical insurance was non-profit, and that ended under, I guess Reagan was it? Reagan. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and and then it could be for profit. Well, you saw what happened. I mean, look at the prices. Look let at what you're paying. Let the market take care of it. If you let the market <laughs> look, look to begin with, you've only got something like Absolutely. like three or four major insurance companies right now, anyway, and there's collusion between them to price fix. Hey, can I say something, Alex? Yes. And, then, and then Mark Green. Yes. Okay. You know, it's yeah. funny you said that, Alex, with the, with the guy Reagan starting this whole thing. You know what I find funny about his guy, Reagan, and all those other people? Yeah. I love how they don't want to give a single payer. But when Bill Gates, they decided he had a monopoly, they went right in there and said, we got to break your company up. But we can't fucking yeah. give us health yet. But it's all right for them to go yeah. into Well, the, 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 problem, the, the problem we have is we have only a handful left. Of, of insurance companies, and uh, they can collude as easily as they want to. I mean, maybe they don't say they're colluding, but if one goes one way, the other goes the same way. I mean, to the, just this month alone, I had one drug that I'm taking that was $10 copay that suddenly I had to get an okay from my doctor to start with. It had to be a, like he had to get an exception for it. And then they raised it twenty dollars because it was one of the drugs they decided we needed. I needed to pay more for. And then I said to them, "I said, well, is there any way I can pay less?" And they say, "Oh, well, ask your pharmacy to give you the uh, the uh, generic." Oh, the generic. And uh, I talked to the pharmacy, and the generic cost more than the, the drug I'm taking. What I'm paying now is thirty-one dollars with this advance pay from ten bucks. The generic is seventy-five dollars copay. Yeah, they rot in hell, Alex. Now, how does that happen? When did you ever hear? Has anybody here ever heard of a generic costing more than no. the the no. name drug? Yes, Mark Green. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I think the basic premise of this whole thing is that you cannot have a health care system that allows, that, that limits who's, who's in, the, in the system to be the sick people. This, this Republican, they call it Skinny Bill, which is a really strange name, yeah. eliminated the mandate to buy insurance. So if you just limit the market to people who are sick and have high health bills, it's obviously going to be expensive. You've got it's to get just, every, well, every, every, everybody in the system. Every day with That's a new... That's why you buy insurance. You buy insurance because of the possibility you might get sick one day in the future. Yeah, but you can't buy insurance. Let me respond to you. You cannot, you cannot buy life insurance if you have cancer. True. You, I did. You gotta buy life. You gotta buy life insurance when you're healthy. Uh, right. I, I well, I converted a policy. Uh, from no, a, that, from a, no, a, I'm not, not a glib answer. You have to buy. You can't buy life insurance if you're if you're if you're gonna die. No, I had a term, your term policy and I converted it. It came due in in July of this year, so I converted it to whole that, life. No, that's nonsense. The, the, it's not the, nonsense. Insurance, it's not a the insurance process works because. You've got a large number of people involved, not just people who who are dying, who have issues. Well, listen, I have. Let me let me talk about my ex-wife, Ronnie, who, as you know, had pancreatic cancer and had an operation uh, that is the only operation they have to try and deal with this really very deadly disease. And she, I want you to go to her site. It's called uh, uh, TimeGoesBy.net. And on there, about a couple of days ago, she wrote about trying to get medicine. Now, here's a woman who just came out of a, what was it, 18-hour operation. She was in the operating room for 18 hours. She is not, does not have the ability to get out of her home right now. She's getting better, but right now, to go down to get drugs from a drugstore. To begin with, there's no drugstore in her area that delivers drugs, okay? And on top of that, they told her that according to her insurance company, she has one pill she has to take that replaces the whatever it is that the pancreas puts out because her pancreas is not working at full capacity. And she has to have this constantly. If she doesn't, discomfort happens and she gets very sick and very ill immediately without taking this pill how many times a day she has to take it. The pharmacy told her when her prescription was coming due that she could only get it a day beforehand. Now, I don't, I've never had an insurance company that said that. Usually it's three weeks and then you can reorder. They told her yeah, one day that, and that's, that's what the insurance company said, that she couldn't get, so she couldn't get her drug unless she got it one day beforehand, and there was no way she could get down to get it. I, I've had, I've had uh, Walgreens tell me before that it's two days before we can refill it. We can either charge you $300 for the medication, or you can come back in 48 hours. No, well, when they, when they said it's still two days before we can refill it, it's usually about three weeks from the date of the last refill that they can refill no, it they, again. Yeah, it, certain. I don't know. I don't remember which drug it was for me, but it yeah. was, and it was, and it must have been more than one because they would say, nope, you're 48 hours too early. You can come back and pick it up in 48 Je hours. Jeff, you yeah, must, goes, Jeff, you must know something. You must know something about this, Jeff. Oh yeah, well I've been very lucky that I, I'm I'm able to get my my drugs as I need them. Uh, yeah, I try to get them uh, once a month, and uh, you know when yeah. they run when they run out. Yeah, uh, a lot of people want you to buy them for like three months and six months and things like that, which which I think it's wrong, because a lot of times you have to change drugs anyway. So, uh, but. I, th I think it's very uh, difficult because the insurance, if you go to the drugstore and you ask for one pill and Phil asks for the same pill and, and I ask for one and, and, and Alex asks for that same pill, their prices are all three going to be different. Yep. They, yep. Are, they are? Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. 
Because the prices are controlled by the insurance company. Oh, and so if I had, but if you and I had the same insurance company, the price would be the same. That's right. Yeah, okay. So, wait a minute. Depending on your plan. Maybe we're not the same age and the same uh, plan. Plan. Remember, we're over 65, so we're. For eighty yeah. percent covered by the government. Yeah. And then, if I want drugs, what happened to the GOP plan to buy insurance across state lines? Why did that disappear? Because all you got to do is walk down. You see uh, the telephone line. There'll be a pair of sneakers hanging over it, and you just wait there a minute, and the guy will approach you, and you'll get uh, oh, whatever. I, you. I I can remember when people like you said that was that would be a, a big benefit to our health insurance plan. So, so oh, I hear people saying they only have one plan in Arkansas. Why can't they buy the plan from Oklahoma? Uh, uh, pardon That's me, I got, I got, I got one for you. When I came to New York, I when I was out in California, I, I still was, uh, I had hit sixty-five. Uh, no, I yeah, I'd hit sixty-five, so I was able to get Medicare, and I was paying for a Medicare supplement, mental, okay, that takes care of the twenty percent that Medicare doesn't take care of. And uh, I paid $100 a month. I come to New York, and it's $200 a month. And I'm oh. going, why is it now $200 a month to my business manager? Because you're living in New York. Regions, yeah. It should sure. not make a difference whether I'm, you know, if, sure. uh, it should not make a difference if I'm in New York or if I'm in San Francisco. Kaiser right. does that with L.A. and San Francisco as well. You pay more for in San Francisco than you do in L.A., and L.A. is a bigger place. Well, maybe there's something our government should deal with. If we're not going to get single payer, at least some kind of reasonable parity for each of these yeah. areas. Well, you know that I, what, Because I know that if I, move to, if I move to Omaha and I want to get supplemental, it's going to cost me maybe $100 or $125, <laughs> but here in New York, it's going to cost me close to $300 a month. Well, that's what Steve Forbes is saying, is that you should be able to buy across state lines. So if there's a plan in Arkansas that happens to be better than the plan that uh, you have in California, you can you can buy that plan uh, in California. Yeah, uh, Rob, so, Rob, 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 I think, I think, I, I, I think Rob disagrees, I think Rob disagrees with you, Rob. Yeah, I do, because what's going to happen is, is it's going to cause the price of the cheap one to go up. Right. Not necessarily. Well, necessarily. Not necessarily. Come on, you're bill. living in America. And nobody's going to buy insurance. You know, you have, when you if have you live competition. In, well, wait, if you live in San Francisco. price down. But if, you're gonna, no. if you live in San Francisco and you're going to buy, uh, you're gonna buy uh, your, your drug plan at, in, let's just say, Nevada, because it's close, and, no. and that's like half the price, how long do you think that's going to be half the price? I don't who, know. Who I, monitors, uh, well, who supply and demand. Company? Uh, I don't know who monitors the insurance company. The it's state the legislatures state. are supposed the to. The feds don't have enough people, and you have to. They they price the insurance based on the cost of facilities and personnel in that state. Right. And you go across state lines, nobody's going to be able to monitor. You know, getting getting a plan in a in a low cost state like Mississippi, and then going to a hospital in New York. There's a big difference in price. The insurance had to pay can't do that. Uh, yeah, but what I'm saying, but, but Rob is absolutely right, uh, Phil. I mean, that, uh, you know, it, it, what's to prevent then that one from the other state from not raising their rates? What we need, uh, I'll tell you what we need, and this is going to make you just go livid, Phil, is we need for Congress to sit down and pass laws as to uh, uh, prices that insurance companies can charge. So if, uh, if a California insurer is losing business to a lower priced insurer in the Mississippi. The only reason they're lower priced in Mississippi is because their overhead isn't as much and also because the the reason why my price here in New York for insurance is more than it would be say in Podunk, Mississippi is because the cost of medicine in New York is higher. Going into a hospital costs more than it would in Podunk, Mississippi. Do you think that that insurance company in Podunk is going to sell you insurance? Wait a minute. Do you think uh, that they're going to take a loss by selling you their insurance at that price? You're nuts. 
That's no, right. They, the hospital will have to want to deal with that plan. No, you are. Uh, no, you'll have to go down to Arkansas to be able to get your do, do, uh, to get your 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 appendix no, taken out. I know. Yeah. I know people that have bought uh, that uh, are employed by companies out of state, and they have out of state insurance in California, and they're they're getting excellent coverage through a plan and, in uh, from our. And I, I bet think, the, I bet I bet they're having to pay more well, because it were, because they're taking their doing their medical in California, where the hospitals cost more. Yes, Rob. Think it through. If you live in New York or San Francisco, and you've got high medical costs, high hospital costs, everything is high, and then you buy insurance in a cheap area, one thing, one of two things is going to happen. Either you're not going to really get coverage because they're going to say, oh, well, you had an operation. We'll pay 300 for that operation. In San Francisco, they're going to charge you 4000 for it, or they're going to charge you an upgrade fee because you're in a high expensive area to get coverage you're going to have a delta one way or another that you're going to pay for so it doesn't work and you don't think that there'd be through increased competition across state lines no no uh, no some no 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 also then it's the same argument it wouldn't they may not be willing to sell you insurance because they don't want to take the the chance that you're going to get sick in a san francisco hospital and not a podunk hospital yeah but there's larger bases and not only that, there's your argument about healthy people having to pay more money to take care of the uh, the, the the older people. You want you want the poor people in Mississippi who have cheap insurance to raise their get their rates raised because they got to pay for the people in San Francisco. No, Rob. What I'm saying is that people will buy insurance even if they're healthy to protect themselves against possible risk. And no, but the, your your party, the Republican Party, no, if doesn't you're want healthy. You should pay more. What, Phil? Phil. You, you, you know you're trying. You're trying to win this argument, and you're not they winning should, it. They should. The fact is, the people who take care of themselves. Well, they young, will. Young, healthy people are not going to buy insurance. Yeah, and I know they, people who've taken care of themselves all their life, and they come down with some terrible, horrible disease, and it, it wasn't their fault. Okay. Well, insurance. Well, about, okay, you didn't take good wife. care of yourself, and that's why you got mm -hmm. prostate cancer now. I don't think prostate it's cancer is from the way you take care of yourself. Oh, oh really? Oh you really? Know. You, you never know. Okay, what about the jogger? The Maybe you didn't jogger. jerk off enough, you know? Maybe you didn't yeah. jerk off enough. You know? I, I, I think Alex has it right. It's what Anthony Scrutapucci was talking about the other day. Yeah. What's that? Can I say something? Yeah. something about, it well, wait, 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 wait. Uh, 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 <laughs> Tony is saying, he, can I say something? Yeah, go ahead, Tony. You know, it's like you said, Alex. He said, they should reward people for taking care of them. People are just going to get sick, even when they look healthy. Right. We all are going to get yeah. something and die from it. I mean, I'm going to die one day. Uh, 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 Renee's got her hand up. Yes, Renee. So, Phil, currently, we have the system that you want. We have a competitive corporate system, healthcare system, that does everything that you want. Is that correct? Except uh, they don't allow you to purchase a cross state. Oh, lines. good. No, no, okay. no, no, quit flogging on. that one. Hey. Bennett, come on. We we've had we have had this system for almost forty years, and we've had your system for almost forty years. Oh, you have. We've haven't. tried your system for almost forty years. Oh, it doesn't work. It should be scrapped. People in America should get health care. And you people should stop saying that corporations are more important than your body. Look, we haven't had that system for 40 years. Sure. We've had some quasi government. Well, we've had, it's exactly uh, regulated what Reagan did. He got rid of regulated. all of it and started all, right. all the corporations to do all of this kind of benefit. And we've been in this test mode for 40 fucking years and it has not panned out. And it's time you people get off your soapbox and realize that Americans need help. Oops. Well, for 40 years, you've had Democrats and Republicans at one time or another in charge of the uh, legislature. And uh, they are all uh, a bunch of thieves. And the reason that the health care system has happened, that it has happened, is because of the regulations that they put on it and the yeah. lack yeah. of the lack of uh, competition that they've allowed. Uh, but you, but no, you just said that this is the, you just said that this is an open market for the corporations. No, that it is not an open market. 
It should that, be. That, that these people have the right to run all of the, the dollar amounts that they want for drug money and for, for health care yes. plans. What are you on drugs? You are. We have fell. been doing this for 40 fucking years. It doesn't work. No, you, you're on the wrong drugs. Yeah. If it's not an open market, Phil, why don't Republicans change it right now? Uh, I, there you go. But they're just That's as cool. bad as the Democrats, because right now they got the big offices. They want to get reelected. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, all of these guys, whether they're Republicans or Democrats, should be uh, put to the uh, put to the, you know, to the stocks. And uh, I am for no. one term uh, electorate and no reelection. And you'll never have any anybody with any experience. Like you got a whole White House full of nobody with experience. Nothing will get done right. by the time they yeah. learn the job. John McCain's. That's yeah. right. We'd have yes. no John McCain. Uh, what no, we got John is there's too few John. And, everyone should, and everybody will be just like Donald Trump, a fucking cashier at McDonald's entry level position for the presidency, the Congress, the Senate. Uh, the all uh, Supreme Court. Every you. one of them will be a brand new position it, every four years. It would be it would be lame duck. It would be lame duck all the time. They wouldn't give a crap about what they do because they don't have to answer to anybody because they can't get reelected again. Tim, it's ridiculous. Tim, 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 it's Tim. Ridiculous. Tim is trying to say something now. Tim. Everybody forgets we've had Medicare for fifty years. It's one of the most popular federal programs and it's worked for 50 years we need to slowly expand it lower to age 60 to start with and yeah. any, any, any markets that don't have a plan from right up competitive insurance companies let those people have medicare and then the insurance companies will realize they're losing customers and they'll start competing that's socialized medicine no one will like ever no. like that no, it's single payer, but it's not socialized. Socialized is where the government owns the doctors, the hospitals. It's single payer, not socialized. I don't want socialized medicine either, either. But I do want single payer. You seem, you seem to be scared of the word. Kevin yeah. hasn't said anything tonight. Kevin, no, I'm, not, I'm not afraid. Uh, of hold, it. On, I hold, on, hold on, a second, Tim. Uh, Kevin, I've been count? jumping in, but no, I've been talked over, so it's no big deal. No, go ahead. I'm, the, the, uh, no, you, I, your, your feelings I'm on this? Just listening right now. How do you pay for insurance in your family? Well, my since I got laid off and was retired, uh, my wife got full time and she's got an insurance that through her through her work. So, mm -hmm. so I'm kind of lucky there. Yeah, so you, it's out of Michigan. Yeah, uh, uh, so, yeah. And did she? Do you have to pay a certain amount towards her insurance? Mm, no, we just pay it. You know, she pays it out of her paycheck. Yeah, what I'm Same saying, what I'm saying is, like, insurance. for instance, my wife works for the Chinese and they pick up every penny of her insurance. Yeah. We don't pay well, anything. Pay that, it, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, what a horrible, horrible, horrible country to give health care to their employees. Nasty. Nasty. Yeah. China. Yeah. No, China is so pernicious. Chinese doesn't have health care. Damn Chinese. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Alex, how much benefits have you arrived at so far from United or uh, Oxford? Well, uh, our family has uh, uh, seen quite a bit, oddly enough, because Marjorie takes advantage. Uh, going to doctors is like a hobby of hers. Well, uh, well and, and, uh, and, and, and so consequently, she has gone over that minimum. I don't go see doctors very often. I'm a guy, and we don't like to go to doctors particularly. And so I, I, don't, I haven't hit my 1,000, you know, in a year. I would, I would like to stick up for Marjorie. It's not that she's a female that this is an issue. It's that she was an athlete. Mm -hmm. Also, also, Phil, uh, it, 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 it would be a 1,000 even if she were paying into it, it would be a thousand at any company. There is a minimum that people have to, you know, there are minimums. And uh, you have to go past that in order to start getting paid off. Uh, well, the, fact is, the fact that is that, that, that only 20 percent, that only 20 percent of what we pay, I mean, of, of what they have to pay is uh, uh, they pay above and beyond uh, Medicare. So they're only paying 20%. If they were paying based on 100%, we'd hit that 1,000 very easily. Okay. Renee, girls go to the doctor because they're smarter than guys. You know, <laughs> I, 
true. It's not, it's not because there's anything wrong with going to no, the doctors. No, girl, girls go to the doctors because they're looking for husbands. Oh, okay. <laughs> God. So, number one, <laughs> fuck you. I'm not a girl. All right? Say you're a girl. Do you go to the doctor? You said, you said girls. The reason girls oh, like to go to the okay. doctor. Goyle. Goyle. Yeah, no, I, I it, it just uh, calm down, Renee. I know. I, 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 we're coming up with a technology soon. It's Skype 3D, in which you're going to be able to actually jump across the screen and strangle him. <laughs> strangle him. Can you imagine and, grabbing him? It would be so funny. Bring his damn little neck. Uh, just turn your air conditioning on. She ripped his crotch right out. <laughs> yeah. By, by the way, let me just ask. Uh, let me let me ask Renee a quick question. You haven't called us in a while. I hear it's because you're having your your place completely redone. I'm just the floors in the fucking house, but the problem with redoing yeah. the floors is everything sits well, on. Yeah. Yeah. Come in and ask so, me what kind of floor to get. That's why you should I, redo I, the I, ceilings. Here, yeah. So I have a two-inch <laughs> tile coming in for the entire uh, common spaces within the house. Okay. I have um, uh, what's the? I have uh, carpet coming into the master suite and the guest suite. Mm -hmm. But it's tile or carpet. There's no hardwood here. It it doesn't make any sense. Mohawk yeah. oh, okay. is the carpet. All right. So it's a it's a two level split design mm -hmm. uh, kind of thing. I hope you didn't get that polyester stuff they call triexta. No, I'm looking at the something nylon. a silk kind of yeah. it has silk name. Yeah. Make sure it's nylon. Uh, you see, we should start a show with Phil on Gabnet discussing out. flooring. <laughs> I'd buy a rug. That, that that mohawk stuff that try that's a derivative of a polyester mats down. Okay, yeah, well. Now you see when Phil <laughs> talks about politics, you can't believe any of it. But when he talks rugs, you can I take it to the bank. Yeah, I want to buy some. You, you Look, do. Phil, you I got a name for your show. What's that? Called on the carpet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, Renee had her hand up again. We're good. We're good. So here's the deal. And politics. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been listening to you guys for weeks, and and we're still talking about the same thing. And if we lived in 26 other countries, we would still we would not be stuck on health care. You don't go to Canada and have a conversation about health care. Why? Because it's not a big deal. Oh, you don't go to the UK and have a conversation about health care. Why? Because? because it's not a fucking yeah, big true. deal. The article section. Going through all of the country, most of the countries in Europe, in Asia, and they don't talk about health care because they, they don't fucking you. have to. Does, does health care, is it one-sixth of the economies of these other countries? I mean, here, it's one-sixth of our economy. Is it really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, but see, that's not fair. Government in, wants in, well, that's why, that's why medicine should not be a business. It should be a profession. It should be yes. a calling. It should be a lot of other things, but it should not be a business. Because when you make it a yeah. business, you're putting a price on people's lives. Absolutely. Plain and simple. And Obama did put con some controls in under Obamacare, though. He limited right. the profit to 15% and limited uh, CEO pay. And I'm, For, I'm I, sure I, Donald I'll tell you what, got if you If you are really sick, you are in no position to shop around. Yeah. So it's, it's not the same as buying a car. Right. If, you're, if, you're, if you are disabled and in poor condition... Yeah. You can't go shop around. You have to just have fate treat you well. Yeah. Forget about shopping around. Think about all the paperwork they put you through when you're sick and you're elderly. How the hell are you going to figure all that out? You can't. You it, can't. It, it, so listen, it's, it's, not, it's not the same as everything else. Everybody, uh, they've blown the whistle on us. It's time for us to bring this happy, festive, happy fizzies party to a close. Uh, and and I I really enjoyed it. We've it's a good crowd here. There's Rob, look at him, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and there's uh, Mike, and there's Tony, and Tim is the guy with the phone, and Mark Green is there, and of course Jeff Stein, Phil Meyer, who quite frankly, Phil, the fact that you're here allows us to have a a, a spirited discussion. So I thank you for being the 
punching bag for the rest of us. It's my job, and I'm good at it. Yeah, Kevin. Th- Shit. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mark. Always great to have you here. Uh, and and uh, uh, keep the faith. And of course, Renee Collins. Call us more. God damn it. Everybody, wave goodbye, okay? And then we can, okay, bye-bye, everybody. (laughs) Okay. Uh, That's it for our uh, panel for tonight. Oh, man, it's a good one tonight. Good one, good one. And the the, the, the stuff didn't go down. The only problem is when I get too many people, I have to reapportion the screen, and that changes uh, everything. And it's, it's, I need to get somebody to be my technical director. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. That's all she wrote. Next is Jack and Amy, and they've got a thing called The Intersection, and followed at 1 o'clock in the morning by Connections, uh, Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, I'm Alex Bennett. I'll see you again on Tuesday. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye.